Matt Long. I'm with Cinch Marine in Mesa, Arizona. I'm here with our 2023 RI230. Um, this is the, the flagship line of Centurion, the RI series. Um, as you notice on this one, actually is equipped with the Extreme Trailer, so you have your end, the boarding ladder on front, uh, which makes it really easy to get in and out of the boat when it's on the trailer. Um, this color scheme on this, this particular boat is a brilliant sky metal flake and silver metal flake. It's really pretty, you notice all the anodized, you know, little details on this boat makes it, makes it pretty, pretty eye-catching. Um, all the RI series do come with your standard drop zone tower, so that is a power tower that folds forward. Um, this is upgraded with the, the Bombshell 2.0 board rack. So now we're around the back here, just pointing out a few things that's exclusive to Centurion. Um, this actually is a, a full DB from front to back as far as the whole design. So what that means is here you have a 20 degree dead rise in the rear. Um, that's going to give you a smoother ride. Um, it's going to sit a little deeper in the water for more displacement. Um, so, you know, bigger surf waves, right? Uh, your center here is your center stinger plate. So that actually goes, the exhaust goes through your stinger plate and disperses out here. So a lot, a lot quieter than most, most of the manufacturers, as well as you're not going to get all of those fumes from when you're surfing. Um, you notice on both of these sides are your surf tabs. So these surf tabs actually deploy down. So the quick surf system, um, if you're surfing left, this one's going to deploy, um, to, to create a little bit more lift on this side and clean up that surf wave. Um, just makes it real clean and lots of push in that uh, without sacrificing fuel economy for it. As we enter the boat, you know, from the, the swim platform, just kind of point out where some of the ballast comes from, the 5,400 pounds of ballast. So you have a rear transom bag here. Um, now, that will be full, so you won't want to use that for storage, but that's, that's full of water to get you, you know, a little bit more weight there. These rear seats do, Fold up so you have some nice rear facing seats in the rear here. So, uh, in these back storage compartments, these rear lockers, you will have soft bags in here, but these do not fill to the top. So they're gonna fill just, just right to this, this black little storage container here. So you can still put soft goods in here as far as jackets, ropes, whatever. Just be careful to not have them actually slide underneath the bag before you fill the bag. Okay, so it's not, it's there is still storage even though you have rear bags there. Now if we open up the engine compartment here. This is a PCM motor. Um, PCM is a GM block, so it's actually, this is a 6.2 liter uh, ZZ6, 450 horse, and actually uh, 465 pounds of torque. Uh, the 62. So all the RIs actually do come standard with your slide seat here. Um, so this will slide actually. A couple different positions, you can drop it wherever you want to. Um, there is seat backs here that you can install for rear, you know, rear viewing as well. Underneath these rails will actually have LED lighting, so this will illuminate really nice in here. Um, seats with hinges, this one actually does have the option for your re reverse viewing as well. Um, lots of storage in here. Now, on both sides here we have subfloor, actually uh, hard tanks, it's ram fill. So that's gravity fed, those will fill in about 90 seconds. Um, part of that 5,400 pounds of ballast. I use this down here for, for storing, you know, large boards, whatever you can put, you can put three or four boards in there. This is equipped with that extra uh, table that can mount on that seat back as well. Um, there's a soft cooler in there and it looks like a swim platform cover and a trash can. Okay, as we power on the boat, now we're going to be at our home screen here. This is going to show you just, you know, your normal vitals for the boat as far as, you know, uh, fuel levels, crews, RPMs, all that kind of good stuff. On the right, we'll actually scroll like down through your options. So your first is actually your quick surf screen. So that's what's going to actually control, you know, your quick surf, which puts your surf tab down. All that kind of good stuff is on your second one. Third tab is going to be the ballast screen. Um, I like to use the control option that shows you actually where every tank is and bag. Um, you can fill all, drain all, or they also, of course, you have your you know, your rider profile. So you just push pro surf left, pro surf right, activate, and it sets everything for you. So that's a real nice feature for, for new users. One down here is gonna be all of your you know, accessories. So you have, you know, navigation lights, docking lights, um, exterior lights, uh, anchor light obviously up top, 
interior lights. So now you're going to have, you know, all LED lights interior on one of rear, lamp, rear lights as well. Uh, next, you're going to actually have your stereo controls. Um, this year they did actually add an option for uh, an EQ. So you can control as far as uh, levels of treble, bass, uh, mids will all be controlled touchscreen now as well, as well as your zone controls. So down fire, tower, sub, interior, all, all adjustable in here. Uh, the last one down here is going to be, uh, obviously we're inside, so you're not going to signal, but it's your maps. So that'll be all your GPS in there.